Um, let me begin by just to give some context, noting that the Board of Regents and I have established three signature initiatives to guide the university system of Maryland and its institutions um, uh, in this uh, coming period of time so that working synergistically and, and collaboratively, we can advance uh, Maryland and the United States on some of the major issues facing our, our state and nation. These uh, three priorities are closing the achievement gap, that is the, the gap in com college completion rates between the majority population and underrepresented minorities, enhancing STEM education and scientific and economic competitiveness, and addressing the challenges of environmental sustainability and climate, I was gonna say change, but I'll say disruption. Uh, today's summit actually touches on all three of these initiatives uh, with this gathering of national experts, policymakers, higher education, and K through 12 faculty members, and climate scientists to work on the issue of raising awareness of climate change in P20 education among diverse audiences. As you know, last year, the National Science Foundation awarded a planning grant to uh, the uh, University System of Maryland and to Delaware in support of Made Clear. Uh, Made Clear will introduce proven climate change curricula throughout the K through 12 sector, motivate more students uh, to appreciate the power and relevance of science, spur a higher level of interest and participation in the STEM disciplines, and develop a new generation, hopefully, with in-depth knowledge of environmental issues. Uh, first, um, as we move into this uh, transition, I'm, I'm, it's my pleasure uh, to introduce uh, Dr. Robert Summers. We're gonna have two brief uh, presentations before we go to our breakout groups. But Dr. Robert Summers is the Secretary of the Maryland Department of Environment. Uh, he was appointed to his current position by Governor O'Malley earlier this year. But his commitment to environmental issues in Maryland stretches back nearly three decades. Among other important positions, he has served as the director of the Department of the Environment's Water Management Administration and Technical and Regulatory Services Administration. Throughout his career, Dr. Summers has been a key contributor to the multi-jurisdictional Chesapeake Bay restoration efforts. Please welcome Dr. Robert Summers. <laughs> 